Hi, I'm Ben Brownlee for Boris Effects. Now, when tracking longer shots, sometimes it's useful to have just one set of tracking data that you can either link layers to or even join effects. In Mocha, historically, this type of long track has sometimes been difficult to achieve, especially if layers or objects go in and out of view. But I'm going to show you a little trick of how we can stitch multiple tracks together. We need to be working in Mocha 2023 or above for this little trick to work, but here's how we do it. Now, I've got several different layers tracking across the scene, and none of which track the entire scene themselves. So if we take a little look here, layer one does around about the first half, layer two does the next quarter, and layer three does the final section. And within themselves, each of these layers is pretty consistent. If we take a look at the surface here, it's moving pretty consistently. Very nice. Now to bring all these three together in one long track, I simply have to select all three layers here, come down in the layers controls and just click on this merge track icon. This will now generate up a new single layer that merges all three areas of the tracking together. So now if I move my surface over and out of the screen, you can still see that it carries on the tracking even when the shape finishes. So all of that tracking data, because it was coplanar, all fits together in one lovely new layer. So let's save this out. I'll actually just call this one, so layer one merged, we'll just end this called merged. And it's very useful that it does create up a new layer for us. In case this doesn't quite work out how we expect, we still have our original layers to go back to. So let's come out. I'll create my tracking data on my merge layer. And now I can apply that to a null layer. So null object. Apply that there. Transform. Boom. And you'll see I have position, scale and rotation. And if I don't need scale and rotation, I can just get rid of them by clicking on the stopwatch. So now I can take my uh, text layers link those through parenting. Take my next layer here, link that through parenting to my null, and my final one here, link that through parenting as well. And I can even move this around if I want to. And because we're parented and linked, that's always gonna stay relative. So this is one reason why you might want to have one big long track. It's a lot easier to slot in and link multiple layers together in this way. And if we take a look at this next shot, you can see I've done something similar here as well. And even though, you know, I've had to move the, the shapes themselves to get the good tracking data, the track itself, which is contained within our, our surface, stays nice and consistent. So that means when we come back and do something interesting with it, in this case, I've uh, linked it to a, a particle illusion emitter, we can create an effect that, you know, requires this longer tracking data rather easily, even made up of small bite-sized pieces. Now, there's one issue that I want to draw your attention to as we enter our third and final shot. And this is a problem that we might face whenever we have uh, less than perfect track data that we then expand out uh, across a larger area. So if we take a look at this shot down here, I've had to do quite a bit of work to try to get my shape and my tracking looking good 
and you can see it's it looks pretty pretty solid on the surface here let's turn on the grid so we can really see what's happening so that's looking pretty good we come to the second part take a look at this one that sort of looks pretty good but there is a little bit of wobble especially as we get to the the corners and we get to the third part here and this also looks pretty good when we confine it to the area around where we tracked where we can find that surface to the area where we tracked now if i were to expand this out so this is now a very very wide uh, surface you might find that any kind of small inaccuracies like this one here are amplified because when the shape itself was quite small any sort of uh, errors just are, are rather imperceptible or very difficult to see if we expand that out we get what's called a, a lever problem so the further away we are from a point the more that lever uh, works to uh, to make everything uh, dip up and down now this can be compounded of course when we bring this into our merge layer so if I take a look at my merge layer here you can see right at the very start wherever we've got a uh, good 100% solid tracking data things are looking absolutely uh, perfect but any sort of movements any sort of wobbles that we have later on in the shot especially when we come to this area here those uh, those problems are going to be amplified out because of that larger wider uh, surface so that's that's the the lever problem that we have here um, so it's it's not something that is um, unique at all to creating a merge track it just means that if we were to expand out those surfaces and that the the corner points there uh, we might have a pretty solid track but if there's any inaccuracies in even one of those layers you might have to do a little bit of work to just bring that back under control possibly using something like the adjust track if you can't get your tracking done right so that's been a quick look at how we can merge tracks together in Mocha to form one larger track. I hope that's been helpful for you. My name is Ben Brownlee for Boris Effects, and I'll see you again soon. If you want more quick tips for Mocha Pro, let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you want to download a free trial of Mocha Pro or take a look at the hours of free training that we have available, come join us at borisaffects.com.